What's up guys, Tyler Kirkwood here. Today is day 214 of my semen retention. Things are going pretty good. Um, today I've been having these like crazy urges, man, and I haven't had urges for like a long time. I don't know what's going on. I've been eating a little bit more meat than usual. I had Chinese food uh, a couple days in a row, so give me a comment if you've noticed like with more meat consumption, you've had more urges. And um, just let me know what's going on with that because it kind of caught me off guard. It was like such a strong urge. I was like, damn, these are like the urges I had within the first 30 days. So I don't know where it came from. I haven't really been looking at anything on the Internet that would cause, you know, questionable uh, urges. But let me know if it has something to do with me because that's like the only thing that I can think is like I've been having too much meat. And um, that's why I've been having these urges. So uh, I posted a video on uh, Reddit and like the most response or the most comments I got was like how the hell have you gone so far without any wet dreams and I wanted to talk a little bit about that today because I think it's important. I think the number one thing is you have to be in decent physical shape. You have to exercise at least a little bit because I feel like there's certain muscles down there that need to get like exercise like your pelvis and stuff around that area. Um... Really, in my life, the only time I've uh, I've uh, had wet dreams is when I was incarcerated and I was on a medication called Zyprexa. Other than that, I haven't really ever had problems with wet dreams. I think in my life, probably I've only had like three or four wet dreams in my whole life. So um, I've gone uh, 214 days and I haven't had any wet dreams, so I'm pretty happy about that. It's never been a big issue for me, so I guess I'm just kind of lucky. I don't understand how people have, like, a couple of them during the week. The only thing that I can think about that would cause that is if you're just fantasizing too much, like, from the past experience or the memories of you looking at porn, you're just thinking about all these memories. So it's basically the same thing as watching porn if you're thinking about the memories of porn, and then you go to sleep, so I could see how that could happen. Um, or you just have all the muscles down there, like, completely worn out from just excessive masturbation, so... I think uh, the reason the reason I've been so lucky and I've been so fortunate not to have any wet dreams is because I exercise. I go on, I try to go on a walk every day, and I feel like that really helps. And um, I don't look at Instagram. I don't look at any Facebook or any weird stuff on YouTube. Like I don't look at any um, you know clickbait stuff like that on YouTube. So just be be cognizant of that. Another thing I wanted to talk about is be careful when you go to the gyms because a lot of times. If you see an attractive female at the gym, that can act, that can accidentally lead to fantasizing. You know how they're always dressed in spandex and whatnot. You just have to be really careful and just try to keep your mind as clean as possible. I think that's the number one thing as far as wet dreams goes. You just have to be having like a very clean mind and don't think of anything dirty, and you'll you'll be a lot better off. So hopefully you've quit porn and masturbation, and hopefully you've quit fantasizing. Um, basically just now you have to keep your mind as clean as humanly possible and eventually the wet dreams will stop. I feel like after the first 30 days, your wet dreams should get, you know, fewer and fewer until they go away completely. So anyway, that's, that's my advice as far as, uh, wet dreams go. I appreciate you guys checking out my channel. I'll talk to you later.